What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a very highly anticipated tweak called App Heads. Now what App Heads does is basically take the feature of chat heads from Facebook and applies it to applications on your device. So you can see right here that I have one, two, three, we have seven applications right over here that are kind of faded, but we have them right there and we can quickly access them just by tapping on them. So when we open it up or tap on one of these icons over here, it actually opens up what is called a live view. So you can actually use this application right there on top of whatever application that you're using. And then if you wanna get rid of it, you would just tap on that and it would go back to the springboard just like that. So let's just say we wanted to open up our settings like we did just now. And let's say we wanted to go into the settings of this tweak and tinker with some of the stuff that it has to offer. So if we go ahead and open this up, you can see that we have a enable switch so we can turn it on or off right here and then if we scroll down a bit we can see that we have a toggle for enable all applications now if you don't want to do that then you can just toggle this off and then enable it for specific applications if you want to do that I'm gonna leave this on for all applications for the remainder of this video though and then right down here we also have the app head settings, so we can change what the show hide action is so if we want all these icons to go away then we can set an activator method to do that. So you can see if we go ahead and tap on this to get rid of it, my activator gesture is double tap on the status bar. So if I double tap on that, all these should disappear, as you can see right there. So we'll go ahead and open that back up. Now let's go ahead and open up the application to get a full screen and we'll hide the app heads just for a second. Now as we're going through here, you can see that we also have a design view. So if we tap on design view, you can see that you can change the design settings. So right now when I open up or I tap on one of these app heads, it's going to open up the live view with a wallpaper behind it. But if I wanted to change that, you can see I can tap on this and then change it to currently opened app. So now when I open up chat heads, or I'm sorry, app heads, we open it up, let's open up uh, Reddit. You can see that the application that I'm in, the settings application is actually in the background right there. So again, you can change this back to wallpaper. And then when we open this up, you can see the wallpaper in the background. Now keep in mind that if you have a custom wallpaper and it's not the right dimensions, then this can actually get a little wonky and it can get kind of buggy and not look good. So if you wanna do the wallpaper in the background, make sure you're using the right dimensions. So now we'll go back here and we'll scroll down. You can see that we have the design settings. So let's hide these again. And you can see that we can set the size of the live view. So right now it's at the max size. So if we open up Reddit again, you can see this is the max size of what the live view looks like. And then if we go all the way down and we open it back up, you can see that it actually gets pretty small. So you can mess with that and you can get it to whatever size that you'd like. I'm actually a fan of, let's go back here, the biggest right there. And then down here we have design settings where we can set the corner radius of the live view. So basically this is asking you, do you want pointy corners for the live view or do you want rounded corners? And how rounded do you want them? So if we go ahead and go all the way to the right, which I have done because that's just kind of what I like, you can see that we have pretty rounded corners. But again, if we go back here and we go down some, you'll notice that they get a little pointier. So that's basically all that that setting does. Again, I'm a fan of the rounded corners. And then right down here, you can change the thickness of the border of live view. So if we go all the way to the right, you'll see that it's pretty dark. Let's open up another application here. Let's open up YouTube. And you can see that it's pretty dark around there and it's pretty thick. So we'll go down. We'll slide that down, we'll open up TweetBot, and you can see that the border is quite a bit thinner. So then scrolling down here, you can obviously change the color of the border as well. If you want to do that, you would just take this little grabber, if I can grab it. Let's hide these real quick. Okay, there you go, you can just tap, you don't have to drag it. So let's just say we wanted to do a purple, and then we'll open these back up, open up Instagram, and you can see that, that actually did not change because I didn't slide this over. Let's slide it over here. And now let's open up uh, Instagram right here. Okay, it looks like it's pretty gray. Let's slide it over some more. And let's see if that takes effect. Okay, there we go, there's a purple border. So basically you can change the color of the border right there. Let me slide this back. All right, so going back here, if we go down, you can also change the display mode. So if you want it to be free, so you can actually dock these uh, app heads on either side of the screen, then you can do that if you have display mode set to free. And if we tap on that, you can see, if we go ahead and hide these, you can change it to lock at the top of the screen, the bottom, 
or the left or the right. Now, if you change one of these, then you actually have to respring your device. So I'm just gonna leave it as free. You guys basically can understand you, they lock to the top, left, right, anything like that, or the bottom. And then right down here we have the app head settings which allow on lock screen. Now this is working every once in a while. It's actually not working right now. You can see I have it enabled. Let's go ahead and enable our chat heads here, or our app heads. I'm gonna continue to call them chat heads for some reason. And you can see that they're actually not there. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm not sure why it works sometimes and why sometimes else it doesn't work. But just keep that in mind. This tweet does have uh, a few bugs. I think I've ran into about three right now. Uh, you can see right down here we can also exclude the mail app because that's always running in the background. So if you want to toggle that on, then that's going to exclude the mail app. Otherwise, there's always going to be a mail app uh, as an app head on your screen. You can also hide this during video. So when you toggle that on, start playing a video, app heads are going to disappear just momentarily. And then once the video is over, then they're going to pop back up. Again, down here we have allowed edges. So this is basically saying, do you want the app heads to be able to snap to the left or right edge or both edges? So you can select that right here. Scrolling down a bit more, we also have the single tap action. So if we tap on that, you can see if we tap on the uh, app head, then it's either going to show the live view or open the application itself. So I have it set up to the live view just because that's kind of the main feature of this tweak. Uh, you can see if we double tap on this, on our status bar to show these, if we tap on an application, this is going to open up the application entirely. So now let's go back. And if we scroll down here a bit more, let's hide these. And double tap on the status bar is not a great <laughs> activator gesture because it always scrolls all the way up to the top of the, uh, the menu. Uh, scrolling back down here, we also have, let's see, the hold action. So I've actually messed with this a bit and it doesn't work for close all applications. Uh, there is a show live view. You can open an application, you can close the application, or close all applications. Now you'll notice here that I have it set to close all applications, but if I hold down on this, you can see that it actually only closes that application itself. So you can see, if we tap on this again, sorry, let's go back down here, and let's just do close application, and then when we tap and hold, it's still only going to close that one application. All right, so now that I changed it, it actually closed all the applications. So I guess it just needed a refresh. So let's jump back here into the settings and we'll go back into app heads. Also right down here, we have touch ID for live view. So if you toggle that on, you do have to specify which applications you want uh, touch ID to use. So you can see right here, if I scroll down here, let's do uh, alien blue. So we'll toggle that on and we'll go back and you can see when I try to open this up to show the live view, it's actually going to ask me to authenticate. So I just scan my thumb and then it's going to open up live view just like that. And that's basically all there is to this tweak. There are a few other things. If you want to close out of an application and you don't have a gesture set up for it, then you can always just drag it here to the bottom and then let go. You can see that it's a little finicky, but you have to drop it right above. If you go all the way to the bottom, then it's just going to dock to the left or right, whichever side you're closest to. But that's basically app heads in a nutshell. This is a $4.99 tweak. So I wanted to make sure that I gave you a full review and showed you all the features. That way you guys can decide whether or not it's worth that five bucks. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, then make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.